Hey guys, just want to make a quick layout update. Sorry for the shakiness here, but uh, I'll go ahead and take a quick tour around. Um, so one of the big things that I got done this week was uh, the Lamoille Valley Chop Nose Unit. So and then there are three chop nose. It's my third one. So you can see I'm still working on some work here. I uh, screw up the nose a little bit, so I gotta fix that up. But um, other than that, making substantial substantial progress with it. Sorry. Um, so decaling is all done. Painting's all done. I just gotta keep going with the micro set for the decals around. Uh, put the headlight on, beacon, horn, handrails back on, weather the unit a little bit. Just a touch, nothing crazy. Um, still gotta put the plows on too, so. <clears throat> Making a lot of progress there. Uh, we'll swing around this way. Actually, we'll stop here for a second. We got utility poles in. You guys can see, so I use some elastic thread and uh, these things are real easy. Um, I bought those Rapido um, rail line poles, whatever they are. Uh, didn't really like them, but I ended up using all the cross arms off them, so they work out pretty good. Um, I just used some super glue. So I put like a counterweight on one side, some uh, wire down, super glue it in, and then see it very stringy. So um, looking good. You guys can see I got the pretty much the whole layout going there. So I've just got to finish up the buildings and stuff like that. Um, same with these buildings, nothing changed there. Still got to keep going with that. You get there's some scenery on the other side. Um, over here, I uh, add a switch heater in, so it's Vermont, you know. Um, I know this line didn't really have a, probably didn't have switch heaters like this in the 1980s, but I also added a control box, so this is a dispatch control point because it's two lines, two main lines coming together. Um, added some more water in here just to finish it up and make it look a little better. But um, so it's a little, nice little calm area, you know, you can see like some rapid or moving, moving. But uh, can't talk to that. Moving the water here and here. Um, I added some more back here too, and along the uh, edge of the track with like some melting snow coming off the um, mountain here. So keep working my way around. Um, nothing really changed with Ethan Allen. I did get the building in and stuff though, so I still got to work on the roof and everything. But um, just some stocks there, mean building, nothing crazy. Um, still working on the pedestrian bridge. Still working on all this other stuff. I did another control point here um, for the uh, for the main line and siding. Um, down there I had another switch heater on the other side, but I'll show you guys that in a second. We'll get around to it. Um, we'll keep going on the uh, Vermont, the southern Vermont side here. Um, she does excuse the mess there. But uh, so I got some more scenery done in here. Um, I'm working on like the creeks and stuff now, so I put some more water in the creek area here, so like a drainage ditch, you know, water flow down. So I had some there, and some a little bit more there. Uh, working on the quarry a little bit, trying to get us all like ballasted up, you know, for spillage from the cars. Um, and here, I added this whole new hill, foam hill in here. So you guys can kind of see that. Kind of made the road look like it disappears, tried to at least, doesn't really look great, but you get the sense that like, you know, it might go off somewhere else or something like that. but. It made a little divider, so it just separates the scene so you don't see the two sides of track. Um, you know, realistically, there wasn't two sides of track of, you know, that. But it also kind of hides um, Morrisville and the uh, the other scene there. So, um, Lamoille Valley Roundhouse is done. I, uh, some styrene, um, styrene put it up, painted gray, weathered it, um, computer, made this on the computer. So, you know, I, I didn't want to light it anyway. So it wasn't like a big deal. Um, the buildings I have lit are actually kits. Everything else is pretty much scratch built. But finish that up. So that's the exact replica of it. Except it's missing two more stalls. The engine house couldn't fit it. But that's alright. Um, made the sign like they normally have. Uh, the roof is actually electrical tape. That just goes down. Looks pretty cool for roofing. So um, kept that going. Same with the uh, ties and everything like that. Um, so we've had the, th the third chop nose in here. Um, I have the uh, other one in here too. The other um, the other 17805 I have is out at uh, the guy Bradley DCC is doing it. He's going to put a working beacon and headlight in it. So that looked pretty cool. Um, not much has changed over here. I did add the switch heater in over here, switch stand. Um, nothing really else besides for that. I've um, been kind of working on the chop motors and stuff, and that's been taking up a lot of my time. But um, um, getting that done, I hope they get that done, completely done by the end of this week. So tomorrow.